previously on the Never Stop Tour. Today, we're leaving the boat behind and going on a strict foot mission. Got him. Another one bites the dust. This is Iron Chef Never Stop. Shout out to AP for killing, catching, and cooking. I got a snook. Oh, no, no. no, 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 no. Right, I got, got a little snook. I got a little snook. This right. is a mess, dude. This is a mess. This is a mess. Peric and I have hit the road. It has officially begun. Mile marker zero. And this is gonna be our, our life for the next month. On the road, on a specific route, headed north, fishing all the water in between here and there. Doesn't matter if it's fresh water, doesn't matter if it's salt water, doesn't matter if it's 200 pounds, doesn't matter if it's one inch. This is an open book from here on out. We've got some species we obviously gonna target, but we're, we're keeping our, our, uh, our doors open for just about anything that crosses our path. All right, here's how I catch a 10 pounder. Ooh, got him, got him, big dude, big. Get the net, get the net, get the net. Look at that fish, boys, holy. Look at this, look at this, look at this, he's trying to eat, he's trying to eat. You got him, you got him, you got him. That was so sick. He just ate it, dude. He just ate it. Got him? Yes! Let's go, dude! Got that dog in me! Another species down. <laughs> there she goes! Let's go, go ball. Ball. Let's go baby! so tired. It's looking a little bit more rural. We're on the edge of I-95 and we're going to head a little bit west to check out a lake that Peric and I have never fished before. We haven't really targeted bass this trip. Ooh, got him. No way. There's been multiple 16, 17, even I think a couple 18 pounders reported caught here in Florida. Now, who's to say we actually get a chance of catching one of those? Probably pretty slim. I'm bringing up some rods. Peric is waddled himself over to Cracker Bell, of course, to get probably some biscuits and gravy. Just slow himself down some more, but I'm gonna rig up a couple braid rods and get ready to uh, fish the first actual bass stop here on Never Stop Tour. I like the odds of something when there's no name on Google Maps. Oh, there's, oh, a, tur there's a turkey. Jeez, that's a good sign. He's got a little beard, mm -hmm. a little Jake. They're so tiny. Looks like, dude, it looks like a velociraptor. The way that thing runs. Looks good. Tiny little lake. I don't even think it has a name on the maps, but it is public. We're going to try it out. Usually this time of year, fishing be kind of tough because the water's in the mid 80s. But we do have some pretty good electronics, and we've got two idiots that love to throw big baits. So I think we're going to start here. If this is bad, there's another big lake just right across the way that's full of full of grass choked with hydrilla. But let's try something new. Completely new. Those both gators in the middle? Holy, that one back there is big, dude. Uh, really? I mean, six foot, maybe? Bigger than me. All right, here's how I catch a 10 pounder. Here we go, guys, just stay tuned for this. Ooh, got him, no way. got him, no way. big dude, big. Get big. the net, get the net, get the net. No Oh my god, this big dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, dude. Were you recording? Yep. Nice job. Glide bait, baby. He literally said, this is how I catch a 10 pounder. 
<laughs> that's insane. That's a good fish, bro. Yeah. Probably. We should weigh them. See if we can get a best five today. Oh, that feels good. Nothing like a glide bait bass to start off the day. All right, John's gonna keep fishing. Weigh this fish. Oh wow, it is gonna break five. How big? Five exactly. Nice, dude. Five pounder. Solid first fish of the day on a lake we've never been to before. Let's freaking go. Let's hope that this is gonna be part of our best five. Yes, but, uh, sir. Let's try and crack 20 pounds today. Here goes bass number one of the day. Nice job, dude. Unreal. Yeah. Put it there. Not many times you call it like that, but. That was pretty insane. It works out. <laughs> it was that was my first cast with the glide bait. First cast with glide bait, like, this is how you catch a 10 pounder. And he, I thought you were kidding when you're like, I'm hooked up. I'm like, yeah, sure you are, cuz. It was half the size of a 10, but I love five pounders. Let's keep eating, dude. Day's young. Let's crank them. Oh, big, big foul. Oh, oh, God. Got him. Nice job, dude. Oh, not as oh, big, not but as still. Big. <laughs> I feel like anything that follows that thing, I'm always like, oh, this big. I haven't even rigged up yet, and this guy's already got two fish on the glide. I was just throwing that thing earlier, too, and I put it down to go punch. What an animal. He's in his element now. Just give this kid a bass rod. When you're throwing a six inch bait and you get something to come up and follow it, you always think it's a giant. But uh, that's two bass pretty quickly. Going back. All right, I'm just too excited. Finally. You guys might ask yourself, Alex, didn't you just catch two nice fish? Yes, I did, guys. But we're into some grass, so now I'm gonna flip the bandito bug. He's throwing the nuke, he's throwing the bandito bug. And we're gonna go to town here, Florida. This color right here is the best color for Florida, period. Hook Joby Craw. I like purple. Blue back, watermelon underside, money. Cool, a little largey. Nice, first fish of the day for me. Dinky, but I got the skunk off the boat. On the old nuke punch, beautiful little Florida strain, LMBZ. Bye-bye, Jimmy. Somebody forgot their tackle box. We're here to clean it up though, don't worry. Cleaning crew, AP and John, here to save the day. This is nice. Right. Oh my god! That was so sick. That was so sick. I'm gonna boat flip her. It's all good. She's hooked well. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's all good. No, no. I want a boat flipper, Alex. Let's go, baby. <laughs> okay, nice. That was dirty, man. Whew. My first glide fish of the trip and the day. Probably a nice three pounder. In typical Florida fashion, we've got a random storm cloud that just decided to roll in. So I decided to pick up the big bait and that one wanted it. Nice bass, dude. Absolutely crushed the six inch glide. Finally, I'm on the board for a decent large one. This lake is sick. Oh, I'm wrong. Four pound, 408. We've got a five pounder and a four pounder. He's deceivingly heavy. Nice bass on the glizzy glide. Goodbye, busy. Thanks for the freaking fight. That was good stuff. Wait, is it actually called the Glizzy Glide? No. Oh, a great name. That would be a great As I'm fishing, I'm also loading up this blow gun. Holy oh, sh! John just got hit. I haven't been able to cross a tilapia off my list, and I've seen a lot of tilapia. Also, a great fish to eat, and I'm all about eating tilapias, and I want to see what it's all about, you know? And if I can cross, if I can bass fish, and then when I see one, pull this out. I'm gonna do it. There's one. There we go. A little bit better. This is a textbook Florida LM Busy. Super long, lean, big mouth, very dark and green. These fish are hiding underneath thick vegetation. We're literally punching through grass down below, and they're eating our nuke punches and bandito bugs. Nice fish. This is a really unique way of fishing and it can be a lot of fun. Thank you, buddy. Oh, 
Really, that's where I wanted to cast, dude. Sucks. Damn, that sucks. Oh my gosh, dude! Good one, dude. Come on, come on. Good one. Good one. Oh, I think she's off. That was a good one. That was a good one. Just so much junk to bring him through. She's definitely got me off. Oh no, still on, still on, still on. I don't know how the hell is this special still on. She's definitely still on, I just felt him. <laughs> this stuff's so hard to fish, bro. I know what we gotta do. Just, just, just trust. <laughs> this is insane. I don't know if it's good. If, when I hooked it, it just didn't go anywhere. Which makes me think it's a decent one. I think, I think he's off, but we'll see. We still have to try. I gotta get my lure back at the very least. Okay, that's good. Oh, he's still on, he's still on, he's still on. He's still on. I don't know, I'm pulling him up. Pull him up. Pulling him up. He's still on, dude. This fish is still on. Hang on. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's a good one, dude. It's a good one. What's up? What's up? You got him? Got him. You got him? Wait, what the hell? Is he even hooked? He's not even hooked. How is that possible? What just happened? How is that possible? The fish was sick. Is that even the same fish? <laughs> the fish was sitting on the mat like this. Or it wasn't even on the mat. It was just, just sitting like this and I just tail grabbed him. See if you have another fish on there. No, there's my hook right there. Oh, no, that was the fish. He literally just popped off. <laughs> Dude, that was the most like look, you guys you guys saw that, right? Like I'm still hooked up to the vegetation pair. It just <laughs> Only us, bro. It would only ever happen to us. Hey man, I appreciate it. Decent largemouth, probably about a, I don't know, another four pounder if we're gonna weigh her. Punching, heavy grass mats with super thick braid and stout hooks it can be exhilarating to say the least. I mean, look at the boat. I've got freaking hyacinths and grass all over the front of my rig right now. What we got four? Three, eight. Three, eight. Wow, this one feels chunky. Maybe it's not as long. Decent largemouth. Let's go, man. Fishing the Florida grass. Got another storm front rolling in. Should get these fish chewing. Hey, man, put her there. That was unreal. <laughs> we never gave up. <laughs> I would release old girl back in the grass where she came from. That was quite the freaking process. I had to pull up the troll motor, pair it got on the big motor, pushed us into the grass. I don't know, he must have just came off and given Peric enough time for him to grab the fish. That was insane. Crazy stuff like this always happens on trips with Peric and I, but uh, that, that was definitely top 10, no doubt. Like Peric literally just grabbed the floating fish. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dude, let me get the motor. Come on. No. King of the boat, who caught the last fish? I did. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I caught the last Okay, king of the boat. Let's all right, king it. of the boat, fine. Starting now. Okay. All right, all right, hey. Everybody loves little challenges between us, okay? Yeah. We're only going to be here for an hour. This is not even, maybe 30 minutes. Best three, king of the boat, a.k.a. king of the hill. Loser's got to drive. I do not like how you have king of the boat right now. Why? I feel like the front guy always has like, he like flips to the patches. He's just got such an advantage. That's what a shitty back guy would say. <sighs> oh, no. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Yes, sir. I'll take it. I'll take it. No size limit. Best best three weight. It's my first fish. I'm gonna get a weight on big girl. I'm guessing she goes three eight point six nine. <laughs> yeah. It is. Point six nine. Let's go. Thanks, buddy. Bye bye. You feeling confident? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm losing and I'm feeling confident. I'm rattled. One fish could win this. It's Florida. Sometimes they don't bite for ten days. I'm about to go beast mode, Alex. 
Yo, no. 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 Let's go, baby. That's a good fish. Let's go. Let's go. Fish number two for me. I'm one fish away from my limit. That's a little bit of a healthier fish. Well, I shouldn't say healthy. I use that kind of generously. It's a much bigger fish, I should say. Let's get a weight on this dude. You get nervous, Al? He's back there fiddling with darts and shit. He wants to kill tilapia so bad. We're out here with stakes in the line. I do not want to drive. I've been driving a lot recently. I drove 20 hours all the way down to Key West to set never stop up, and I think it's Alex's turn. Let's see how skinny you are. This one's definitely on the Weight Watchers program. 1.66. We got a 0.69 and 1.66. Let's go, baby. Getting nervous, Alex? You feeling confident? Alex, serious. Alex in the zone. Alex, serious. Alex, serious, we gotta catch a fish. The problem is I'm talking so much smack, and Alex has this weird ability to just come, come all the way back from like nine laps behind. So I should probably shut up too. He's trying to sabotage me. Can't oh, help. It, dude. I'm, I'm killing you now. This is it. You did not have to both flip that right in my face, <laughs> Alex. 0.68. Okay, that's what I thought. 0.68. Okay. Has to throw a wacky worm to even come close to competing with my fishing abilities. I'm more versatile. I like throwing punching rigs, swim baits, you know. I'm an actual angler, unlike some people. Eric is sending us into the forest. I like it though. It's perfect. Oh. No. That one slammed it, dude. What was your second one? One six six. One two six. Oh! One more fish. Still in the lead. One more fish. This is gonna come down to literally one more fish. It doesn't matter how big the fish is. Probably 10 minutes left in the challenge. It is, uh, it's, a, it's a close game. It's a game of dinks for sure. I wasn't recording, but I got her. Let's go, baby, let's go! I just stopped recording, but we got a fish. Like literally right where Parrot caught his too. An absolute giant. Hey, this could mean that I'm sitting shotgun. 0.9, baby. 0.9 on the Guggen scale. Let's go. Soft release back in the grass. See you later. That was first. If I was Alex right now, I would be pooping myself because first off, he wasn't beating me even with our two fish and then I decided to seal the deal with the limit. I got three bass for a whopping two pounds. Alex, how are you feeling? Maybe we just drive all the way to, I don't know, South Carolina tonight. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> he says, Oh my god. Oh, it's so much. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I just saw a jump! I just saw a jump! <laughs> no <laughs> way! No way! If you land this fish, I'm gonna cry. There's no way. He's still on, isn't he? No way. I'm trying to sabotage me right now. No! Yes! No! Oh my god, no. That's a good one too. No! Damn it! Oh, I gotta keep fishing. No! 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 I had to run the boat onto the mat. Only way I was getting this fish out. Somehow got it. He tried to sabotage me, ended up helping me, honestly. 
Okay. I don't know how big this needs to be, but I like it. Oh yeah, baby. No! 1.98! 1.98! Got that dog in me! Yeah! Damn it, dude! Alright. I don't know what that means for me, but 1.98, 1 1.26, 1 0.68. Yeah. Into the mat he goes. I should have never opened my stupid mouth. I should have never talked. Shit. That's what happens. Never talk. Shit. Never be caught. Because chances are you look like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Time is up. Let's Time add up the up. score. We're gonna add up the scores. John just said that. I'm gonna say it again. All right, we'll start with John's. One six six plus, plus 0.69 plus, plus 0.9 equals. I had three two five. Okay. We definitely had more. Oh, for sure. You had 0.68 plus 1.26 plus 1.98. Three eight. Oh my gosh. The, score, the final score, 3.25 to Perix 3.84. I lost, I lost by a literal shad. Due to the John Wall. I have no groove right now, I'm so hot, I'm sweaty. You could literally, let's get out of here. Probably get a cup from my butt sweat right now. I got them. Squeaky cheeks, and I don't have to drive. Hey, we, need to do, we need to do more challenges. We need to do more challenges. Yeah, so I could beat you again, or I could beat you. Like, I feel again. good about my large mouth at least. Don't like show. after this morning, like John's been carrying the Never Stop tour. He's been never stopping on the Never Stop tour. I've been doing lots of stopping. Today was your day to shine. My tarpon have been stopping me, but large mouth bass, able to get a nice one on the glide before the competition and then really secure it at home with that last clutch fish. Sometimes when the tournament's winding down, you go to the spot where you know there's fish and you camp out and you hope for the best. Bummer. Next time. Let's go home. I want to drive a little bit. I want to drive to George. How like far is George? An hour and a half, I think. So this is the St. John's River. Mm -hmm. This is George, which I know is good. But then there's this little there's like these little lakes here, which I don't know, I can't really load my maps because I got no service, but they're closer to us. And I feel like we like smaller bodies of water because they're easier to digest. <laughs> we secure a hotel in Jack's, and then tomorrow morning we wake up and we hit the salt. We trade off, okay. salt, fresh, salt, fresh. Gotcha, sounds like a plan. I'm done. This was great, this was actually Perrick's idea. I'm glad we, fo we followed through with it. Another one of Perrick's ideas that he just mentioned is we're gonna head up north towards Jacksonville, which might honestly be one of our last stops here in Florida. Florida's a big state, so it took us a long time to get through here. It'll be a lot quicker going through some of those small northeastern states. Shout out Florida. Shout out to all the people that we've met too along the way. We've run across quite a few viewers and everyone's been very nice. No one's trying to kill us, so it's just. Get back here! I'm gonna get you! exit for Lake George. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to pull a quick audible without conferring with Alex. He's passed out right now. He thinks that we're going to fish Lake George for like an hour. My opinion, it's not worth going two hours out of the way. My idea is this. We head up north, go basically to the very top of Florida to fish for some epic saltwater species in Jacksonville. I feel like we got a really good dose of bass. And uh, to be honest, I think I'm gonna take the reins on this. He is completely passed out right now, taking a couple Z's. I'm actually stuck in traffic right now. I don't even know if we'll have time to fish Lake George, even if we did. But regardless, um, we'll have to fish Lake George another time, Alex. I'm sorry, buddy. Alex. Alex. What's up? Alex. What up, dude? You awake? No, oh, I am. You ready to fish uh, George? Lake George, the lake of your dreams? Yeah, how far? Um, about 30 minutes. 
Nice. Oh, 30 minutes north of it. We we may have passed it. What do you mean? I, I had another idea in mind. I thought maybe since you were asleep, I would I would I would I would take the reins on this and pull a little a little audible. If that's cool. <laughs> that's cool as in it's a question or. Uh, well, no, not really asking because we are pretty far. I, I said 30 minutes. We're probably about an hour past Lake George. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. So you're, so you're cool if we don't fish Lake George. We can just go. I could, we could do whatever. We can go to Jacksonville tonight. Possibly. Potentially. Yeah. Is the fishing good? Um, I suppose we'll find out. I wake up and my truck's gone. I think someone stole it. Luckily for me, Alex just grabs my keys and runs off. For what reason? We'll find out here in a little bit. I could just sense the bitching from you. You were bitching about me going somewhere with the car, weren't you? Oh my god, you took the car. Maybe we don't start the day with Starbucks and maybe we just go straight to the lake. Starbucks is the best coffee. No, it's I not. love the taste of Starbucks. I'll let, I'll let people decide. Starbucks is not. Starbucks is not the best coffee. Over, over the chains, I'm saying. Like, Dunkin' Donuts sucks little ass. Uh, back up a smidge. Yep, that's perfect. Thank you. Pulled up to the ramp. This is our time to shine. We've done pretty good about balancing fresh to salt, salt to fresh. It's a weekend, so it's gonna be a little bit busier, so we're gonna try and avoid boats and throw some topwaters and get after some redfish. One of my favorite saltwater fish to catch, if not my favorite. They fight hard, they hit topwater, and they taste good. We still have yet to take off redfish too. That, that kind of the, like the underlining goal of Never Stop 3 is to catch as many species as we can. And we've already ticked off some really good ones. Um, I personally, I don't know about Perrick, but I've personally got a couple goals this trip, and one of the big goals is to catch a redfish. And we are in probably one of the better places to do so, that being Jacksonville, Florida. Probably our last stop in Florida. Let's get the boat unhooked and uh, get to fishing. Fighting. We need to get over this little beef we got going on right Dude, now. Dude, I woke yeah, up on Yeah, you throw the, that. You throw that little cooed into it. I woke up on the right side of the bed. You woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. No! I wanted that I'm one. I'm not giving you that one. I wanted that one. Let's both throw spooks, dude. That's good. What we're fishing right now is essentially really like we're on the outskirts of Jacksonville, and uh, this is technically the St. John's River, but it's practically salt. This is where it dumps into the Atlantic Ocean. How's that top water back there? Pretty fierce or what? There we go. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Grab me, get the net. Get the net. Wow. That fish is gone. Little redfish. <laughs> oh, oh, that was sick, dude. First redfish of the day. <laughs> Not exactly the size. I've actually literally never in my entire life caught a redfish so small. I've never even seen one this small. You could put this guy in a little fish tank and he'd be your buddy for the rest of your life. Not quite the standard that I was hoping for, but we now get to cross him off the list. I imagine we'll catch another one. I was wondering, like, this fish is either huge and he's running right at me or he's just little. What a little cutie. Let's send him back. We're not getting skunked. Oh, keep going, keep going. You're on, you're on, you're on. God, what the f was that? Sometimes it hurts to watch you fish. Dude, I freaking hooked up on him. Not very well, apparently. Well, Peric and I are doing a little divide and conquer here. I'm throwing a little tiny soft plastic smelly shrimp. 
on a jig head, and Peric is going for the more epic eat. He's throwing a top water. I'm uh, I'm confident that Peric is going to get one. He just had a nice blow up. I kind of freaked out on him. I just think as I care, I really want to see him catch one. Oh, you got one. Keep it going, dude. Relax. You don't stop it. It's not bass fishing, bro. Relax. Nice one, buddy. Nice one, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> We're hooked up. How's it feel? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is what we came for. Feels pretty big. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> How's it feel? Feels good. I don't. I don't like treble hooks. That's fine. You're cool. You're cool. Just keep her here. Oh, under the boat. Under the boat. Get more tension. Right here. Bring it right to me. Bring it right to me, Al. Right to me. That is a solid red for the ring. Oh yeah, baby! Let's go! That is awesome, dude. That is what we came here for. We woke up bright and breezy this morning, headed to the marsh, not that far outside of downtown Jacksonville, and fished for a fish that probably is Peric and I's favorite, right? Wouldn't you say so? Redfish is up there for you. Alex is peeing. What? That is the most random time to take a pee, dude. I was holding my pee and then that fish. Is that why you're horsing him in? It excited me and I almost peed my pants. Oh, you got him? That I think officially could be the first redfish of the trip. We've caught snook, tarpon, largemouth bass, invasives, peacocks, and now redfish. So cool, dude. This has been such an amazing experience. This is why we made this trip happen because the fishing opportunities are endless. And we're just getting started. That's one, hopefully, of many more redfish that we catch today. Nice job, Al. Put <laughs> <laughs> it that fish touched the water and just instant Dude, power. We should, we should just rename this tour the <laughs> release tour. <laughs> Holy crap, thing. that thing sprayed me. Okay, got it. Next spot, Al. We're running around. I convinced him I wanted to go about six miles offshore and I found a shrimp boat. That means there's probably fish around it. Oh, stop. oh my god, dude. Stop, 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 stop. What? I'm gonna hook a bird, dude. Look at all these sharks. Look at the sharks. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Look at this. This is insane. We're gonna fuck up. There's no way. Oh my god, I just got hit! I got one! You got one! <laughs> you got, you got hurt. What the f Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're hooked up. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. We saw these uh, shrimp boats about five miles off the beach when we were looking for some jacks and decided to go check it out. They start dumping a bunch of straps or bait or whatever, and these sharks, these sharks went absolutely crazy. Parents threw an artificial at these sharks. I mean, dude, if I dipped my toe in the water when, the, when they were dumping all that shit, I would have definitely lost my whole foot. I just want to see what this thing is. I think it's a shark, the way that thing's fighting. No big long runs, just kind of lazy on the bottom. You got leader? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, it's a little oh, shark. Oh, a little shark. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it was a big shark, we would not get that thing close. Look at them. <laughs> First shark can never stop. <laughs> that was so crazy, dude. I would lay him flat on the deck and just get behind him. There you go. Careful. Turn real oh, quick to get did he get you? Ah! You good? Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> he got me. Go look at it. You're right, dude. Literally bit me. I know. I see that. Got it. Shark's unhooked. He's doing good. Gonna get him back here. I got bit by him. Might get a shark tattoo right there. But uh, this is sick. My first ever shark in the wand. 
Unreal, dude. Okay, here we go. You know, I hooked him in the mouth, he hooked me in the leg. An eye for an eye makes the world go around. And let's go catch another fish. Key West, where we started, it's a sign. I'm hooked up, baby! It's just nice to hear the drag sing a little bit. This is definitely a lot bigger than my redfish this morning. Wow, they're fun, honestly. Yeah. Oh. I think the key is once you kind of hook up, you want to get away from the shrimp boat because they've got a bunch of lines in the water. Uh, but, yeah. There's lots of sharks behind that boat, let me tell oh you. Oh my gosh, dude. They were like erupting. John couldn't figure out why he wasn't getting bit. He was fishing like he was fishing for GTs, like skipping it on the surface as fast as he can. All he had to do was let it sink and anything. Literally, you just Yeah, got literally, second cast, I hook up. That's why I got here, you here, though. <laughs> Captain Alex, guide Alex. There's something about being in the middle of the ocean where all you see is water that just gets you going. Especially when you're hooked up. Hooked up! The shark and I have just about had enough. We got our boat side seeing color. She's just doing circles right now. I'm gonna see if I can put the brakes on her. Eric's gonna attempt to put a tail rope on this fish so we can safely remove the hook. It is a barbless hook. This might be the last shark yeah. out here. This is quite the process. Oh, oh <laughs> did not like that. Got her. Got her. Oh, there she goes. There, there she goes. goes. Okay. Wow, she's starting to sink that was bad. No, she, 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 she kicked off strong. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> that was awesome. On a little, look at that thing, it's bent. Caught that fish on a soft plastic artificial. Just swimming it right behind a shrimp boat. It's good, cheap fun. When you got a couple of shitty anglers who can't pull through the marsh, one great way to, uh, to bring a smile to our faces is just set right up behind one of those things and start beaming soft plastics for literally just sharks. We didn't see any other fish, which is crazy. But that was sick, dude! Redfish and sharks. This, keep going. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Let's keep fishing. Never stop. I was thinking to myself on the rip back to the shallows, Florida has got to be hands down unarguably one of the best states for fishing wise, like it is insane how we were just out there fishing a shrimp boat for sharks and using artificial. Now we ripped a good 10 miles inshore and now we're fishing oyster beds in the marsh for redfish. <laughs> how stuck are we? <laughs> anyway, this is pretty crazy. We uh, we got our fix on some on some drag peel and sharks. That was quite exciting. Did not expect to encounter that today, but that's what floor is all about. But now we're in the shallows waiting for that tide to come back in chasing some redfish. I've yet to catch a decent redfish on this trip, so hopefully today we can make it happen. Alex is throwing spook midday. Broke oh, off. That was sharp. All well, the f***ing oysters that are sharp, sharp, you dummy. That was, that was, that was sharp. That was sharp. <laughs> was quite possibly top 10 dumbest things you've done this trip. There's a tailing red back there too. Look at that, see him? Yeah. Okay, we gotta get that spook. I got some ideas here. <laughs> I casted my spook at a mullet. It's for sure a mullet now that I look over here. And I didn't even put any pressure on and the oyster bar just destroyed my line. Lost the spooks. And I'm gonna get out and hopefully maybe lay myself to rest inside this oyster bar or get my spook. There's only two options here. 
<laughs> what do we got here? What's our catch for today? Spook's back. Found myself a... A hermit crab. Oh, it was a hermit crab inside a conch shell. Yeah. yeah I'm going to let him go. And then uh, another hermit crab. But I'm going to go find a crab, actual crab. For uh, what purpose? Just because? For bait. Oh, nice. Okay, true. This might help a little bit better on your crabbing mission. Just two fine fellows crabbing on the oyster bar on a nice Saturday evening. I think this is the answer over here, Johnny. What's that? Over, What's here? That? over here? Got him! We got two crabs, baby! All right, we're catching bait. Not sure if anything will eat this, but it's still fun. It's like, might as well do a little activities while we're waiting for the tide to come up. But I actually see a big one right here. Alex and I have crabs, literally. We found ourselves some bait. To think that a pair of getting snagged on an oyster bed somehow blossomed into John and Alex walk around and look for crabs uh, is pretty pretty strange, but our, our ADHD brains work in very strange ways. These are potentially gonna be bait, I think. You know, We could probably crush them up and sink them for sheep's head or any sort of bottom fish, but we have quite a few. Definitely the first time I've ever put crabs in my bass live well. What do you think, Big Al? I'm just cleaning myself like a baboon in the water. Let's get out of here. Let's go fish some fresh water. Oh no, we're not fishing here anymore? Maybe tie up the boat to a dock. Maybe grab some food. Why are we getting food if I'm not hungry? Well, I'm hungry. Keep finding nice establishments to eat food and fill up your belly so that you can go on harder for once the tide comes up. Okay, fine, let's go get food. Uh, Texas. Texas. Texas? Yeah, yes, Texas. We're, we're filming uh, a tour up Highway 1. Alright. Now, so it had numbers on it, but they blew off? Yeah, they were like not good stickers. I don't know, they might have put it on when it was dirty too. We've been stopped by FWC, Florida Wildlife Conservation, I think is what it stands for. And, uh, fine, Joe. We, uh, we just don't have stickers on our boat. Or we have a sticker, we just lost our numbers. So, can't look up the registration without the numbers. Guys, it's probably gonna happen again. Um, I know, yeah. you, you, I appreciate being patient. Seven, two, five, nine, Papa that's Philip. okay, that's why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. I'll put one more and then the system. Okay. 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 Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Other than that, you guys are free to go. Be, uh, have appreciate fun. it. Have some lunch. Be safe out there. Um, That was inevitably going to ha happen. I uh, <laughs> Sometimes I get a little lazy and it's not good and you guys probably shouldn't um, take after my laziness. Uh, I have my boat registered. It's completely legal, but the stickers didn't stay on one day, so I couldn't be bothered to put them back on. And uh, Alex is washing off his flip-flops, and all of a sudden we just see a nice little pathfinder with uh, strange little letters on there that say FWC, and we got pulled over. And he's doing one of these. Yeah, he's like, I mean, he's like, oh, we're done. Like, we're done. I'm like trying not to make eye contact with him, but he's, he's like looking at the boat, and obviously there's no stickers on the boat. It's registered, I've got the little registration sticker, but I don't have the numbers. That was probably one of the nicest FWC officers I've ever encountered. We definitely probably should have gotten some sort of ticket there. Oh, for sure. But we're all good. <laughs> for sure. Uh, he's like, uh, you guys got throwable? Uh, <laughs> oh, gee, uh, uh, I'm like looking around like, no, damn well, I don't have a throwable. You got three life jackets? I think we just, I just showed him this thing for, for Wes's life jacket. Uh, yeah, he didn't say anything about that. After that stressful encounter with FWC, it actually wasn't stressful at all. I'm just being dramatic. Jonathan said I can get food. If he's gonna allow me to get food, I'm gonna eat the food. I love food. So we pulled up to a restaurant on the water. Let's take you guys for a little restaurant tour. Let's see what we're ordering. It's gonna be good.
salad. It's good. You can't ask for a better scenario. Just finished the sheep park, put the dog, walked up here, boom, mahi, boom, shrimp, boom, crab dip. This is what Florida living's all about. Buddy, cheers to a successful, yet very much ADHD filled day of fishing. We're not in jail. I forgot about that. Fresh fish, nice rice. My belly's gonna be happy. Food was amazing. We crushed some shrimp, some mahi, some crab dip. Now it's time to get back on the ocean, see if we can catch a couple more before the sun sets. You ready, Al? I'm ready, John. Let's go. We are back on our marsh grind. Peric is stubbornly refusing to switch to anything other than top water. I'm throwing a little scramp, a little scramp around. This is an awesome bait to get bit on just about anything. Redfish, speckled trout. I've actually even caught striped bass in the Northeast on a little shrimp. We're gonna see if we can catch one more nice redfish or trout or whatever wants to bite before we head in. Wind's picking up, tide's coming in. Things are looking somewhat fishy. Let's see if we make it happen. So you guys know yesterday, I was able to secure the dub and not have to drive. I've just convinced John that the most fish, until we get back to the ramp tonight, doesn't have to drive tomorrow. I'm thinking if Perrick is gonna live and die by the spook during this challenge, then I actually have a shot at, at winning and not driving a single mile tomorrow. But at the same time, I also know it's Alex freaking Perrick. And I saw, oh, what the hell was that? And I saw what he was capable of yesterday, so. I'm not gonna count my chickens before the eggs hatch. Oh, trout, trout, new species. That is awesome, dude. I had a feeling I was gonna get bit. That is a new species for Never Stop Three. Ooh, he's croaking like crazy. I've never heard him do that. It's an awesome trout. This right here is a speckled sea trout. I think they're actually in the like, Corvina family, I believe. They're really cool. They can get huge, like I think close to high 20s, low 30s. But this is another fan favorite for Florida anglers. It's a new species that we have not encountered yet, and they are so cool. Actually, he's drumming a bit too. He's beating the drum in his belly. Such a cool fish, man. That's one fish for me. See you later, speckled sea trout. Thank you for biting. Yes, sir. So the score is one to zero? Yeah, uh, Alex Perrick has. Zero. Just for now, though. Yeah, just for now, but probably definitely. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I think it's red. It's felt it's crush. It's little if it is a red. No, it's a jack. No way. This is my second jack of the trip. It's a little guy, much smaller than the first one we caught when we were fishing Jupiter. They'll put themselves in just a couple feet of water and mingle along along with the uh, the speckled trout and the redfish. Always kiss your jacks goodbye. By the way, that's two to zero. Zero to Alex. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch up to something weedless so I can throw it up in there and also let it sink. And I'm gonna get serious here. It's currently two to zero. I'm not sweating though because it's a numbers tournament. My favorite type of tournament, to be honest. Usually John doesn't want to do these, so I'm excited for him to uh, bow down to my kind of cup of tea and get his ass kicked here. Ladyfish, baby, what? This right here is a poor man's tarpon. Look at that thing, he's pissed. I have not caught the same species twice this afternoon. This is a ladyfish, great shark bait. Yeah. Um, but they can be fun on light tackle and fly rods. See you, bud. Thank you. There he goes. I'm like junk fishing. Alex is trying to be a purist and catch a, a redfish on top water, but I'm just trying not to lose the challenge. 
So, hey man, I'll freaking take it. If it's a ladyfish, if it's a dink jack, whatever. As long as I'm not driving tomorrow, that's cool with me. I wish I could catch a ladyfish. Like, that was so exhilarating. You enjoyed that? It looked like your heart was racing. It was. Don't sleep on it. Don't worry, I'll catch a redfish next. I'm, wor I'm working my way up to something big, bad, and audacious. We're at the ramp. I don't have a lot of confidence here, but there's one thing I'm good at is catching fish out of seemingly nowhere. So we're gonna try it. John immediately hops up. I told him we could just continue this tomorrow, but he's against that. He wants to take this unofficial dub. We got the fish for 20 minutes and he's like, eh. Of course I want to win out. It's not over yet. It's pretty much over. Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, you're gonna lose unless you catch a bunch of like little freaking pinfish. Got one. What? That's <laughs> a red fish. Dude, I caught every single species there is. Let's go. That's just some salt in the wound to Peric, man. I mean, listen, today wasn't my best day of fishing. I did catch a very big shark, but everything else I caught was, well, you know, about this size. I caught a red fish, a sea trout, a jack, and a ladyfish. I would say that is a pretty amazing micro Jacksonville Marsh Slam. Okay, I quit. I officially quit. I quit, guys. Thou shall not quit. Well, I just quit. Never stop fishing, always stop fishing. Perry, if you were married to that spook, I would say you would never cheat on it. You would be faithful to the day that you guys both get buried in the ground. Four fish were caught on my end. Absolutely nothing to Alex. Looks like he'll be driving tomorrow from Florida to Georgia. Pretty solid day of fishing. Pretty all over the place, but we got to taste a little bit of, uh, of everything that Jacksonville has to offer. It's kind of nice. We're gonna hit the road now, meet you guys back at the ramp and continue our journey on one, Never Stop. One quick thing. Oh gosh, <laughs> is it actually quick? Yeah, uh, do you have a sunscreen sponsor? Cause you, like, it, I don't think it's okay with what happened to you today. Like, it doesn't look good, man. We might need to check you in. What, to a mental hospital? <laughs> no, to a, to a to rehab for sun damage. It's bad. I'm just trying to look like all the locals around here, all, <laughs> all wrinkly and leather-faced. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the morning.